This is probably my favorite cup at all time. I got it at Disneyland, mostly because one, it's Winnie the Pooh, which is my favorite character, Disney character growing up as a kid, and still to this day. And also, it's got this little honey pot on the top. Anyway, this is my favorite cup. Hey, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit in the Simple 60 Challenge. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why your weight goes up after exercise. Now, before we even get started, I want you to know that when you see your weight go up as a result of exercising more, it's not body fat. I'm gonna explain six reasons why your weight is increasing as you start to exercise more. Now, maybe you started a new workout routine or maybe you haven't worked out for a while and you're starting a new workout routine for the first time and you're noticing that your weight is going up even though you're trying to watch your calories and exercise at the same time. This can be extremely frustrating because if your number one goal is to lose weight and your weight goes up, it's very easy to get discouraged. But I have some really good news for you. Just because your weight on the scale is going up after exercise doesn't mean that you're getting fatter. Let's dive into to a couple of different reasons why this happens. So the first and most likely reason why you're gaining weight as a result of exercising is due to inflammation from the exercise. Now, not to worry, this is completely normal and this is what's going to happen whether you like it or not. This is the body's healing process. And a part of that healing process is bringing water into your muscle cells that you worked out. So it can flush out some of that breakdown material from the muscle and also push nutrients in to help heal and build that muscle up. Now, the inflammation process is gonna be different for everyone. If you're brand new to a new workout program or you haven't worked out in a while, the inflammation process might be a little bit longer. As you become more fit and as you adapt to this process happening more and more, it won't be as dramatic an inflammation process. Your body can kind of feel like puffy or full of water especially the day after you work out. Again, this is completely normal and unavoidable. It's okay to have this experience. There's nothing you need to do to avoid it. It's just part of building muscle. But as a result of holding on to more water, your total weight might go up on the scale. Rest assured, this isn't body fat and the weight will go away in a couple of days. All right, reason number two, you are building muscle quicker than you were losing body fat. If you step on the scale a couple of weeks after exercising and you know that the scale weight is going up, you could be building muscle faster than you're losing body fat. The best way to tell if this is happening is if you're losing inches around your waist and other parts of your body that store fat, but your weight is still going up. This is a classic telltale sign that you're building muscle faster than you're losing body fat. Don't be discouraged by this. This is a very good thing. Over time, your rate of muscle gain is going to slow down and you are gonna still lose body fat, so you'll start to see the scale go down at that point. But for now, if you're building muscle and losing fat at the same time, and you're building more muscle than you're losing fat, you might notice that your scale weight's going up. Again, this is nothing to worry about and actually a very good sign that you're on the right track. All right, number three. While this one has a little bit less to do with working out than it has to do with diet and what you eat, it still has relevancy to the workout process. So your body doesn't just store body fat, it also stores glycogen, which is the storage form of carbohydrates. Now this glycogen is extremely important for things like weightlifting because glycogen is a much more efficient energy source for things like lifting weights and doing high intensity interval training. So you definitely want glycogen stores. Have you ever eaten a lot of food over the weekend and then weighed yourself on Monday and noticed that you're a lot heavier than you normally are? A lot of times this is because you are storing more glycogen in your glycogen stores. And then you notice over the week that weight starts to go away. While this could also be water weight, a good majority of it is glycogen stores. Now, why is this important? Because you might be thinking that, okay, well, I just won't eat carbohydrates, which means my weight won't go up, which means that I'll be losing weight. That's not the best way to think about it. You want glycogen stores to fuel your workouts. And if you're concerned about the weight gain that you get as a result of it, I can promise you it's not body fat. So there's no reason to be concerned. And if you're really worried about carbohydrates and glycogen stores, then focus on eating your carbohydrates around your workouts so they fuel your workouts, but they don't add a lot of excess water weight to your body. That's definitely one way to go about it, but even then I think that's too much detail. All right, reason number four, the sodium in your food is causing some water retention. Now, unless you're eating a ton of salt, this isn't really something you need to be super concerned with. That being said, if you're under the supervision of a doctor and he or she is telling you to reduce your sodium intake, please follow their advice. I am not a doctor. There's a good chance you're retaining water from that salt. Now you might be wondering, is this a bad thing? Should I stop doing this? Water weight is not a bad thing unless it gets way out of hand. And at that point you should be seeing a doctor about those health concerns. But the water retention you get from salt is not something you need to worry about. Like any other form of water weight, it'll eventually go away. Number five, you are taking a supplement that causes you to retain water. Some people have reported that taking creatine monohydrate causes water retention. And I have experienced this personally. But the good news is, is this water retention eventually goes away. So if you started taking creatine recently, 
recently. And you notice that your weight went up pretty dramatically, like five to six pounds in the last two days. That's just water retention. That will go away over time. All right, number six and our very last one. You're eating more protein and more fiber rich foods. So if you've gone from an eating style that was mostly processed foods to an eating style that had a lot more whole foods like lean meats and vegetables, there's a very good chance that the weight of the food that you're eating is higher than the processed food that you were eating. And when you digest food, it doesn't just evaporate. If it did, we'd never need to poop. So that food weight is gonna make its way through your digestive system for a couple of days. So if you've been noticing that as you exercise more, as you eat healthier, that your weight is going up, just know that the food that you're eating is probably more dense, which means that it probably weighs more. Again, this is nothing to worry about. This is a good thing. You're eating more whole food nutrition, which is awesome. But if you step on the scale and you're a little concerned because you start to see your weight go up a couple of days after you start exercising and eating better, don't panic. Most of the increases in weight that happen in a short amount of time, anywhere between one to three days, is water weight, and it's not body fat. Water weight is gonna fluctuate back and forth no matter who you are, even if you're in a calorie deficit and you're exercising more. Don't freak out about this. My best advice to you is to just keep doing what you're doing and pay attention to what your weight does over time, like four to six weeks. At the four to six week mark, if you start to notice that your weight is still going up and you're not losing any inches off your waist, now's a good time to look at calories and look at your exercise and figure out what adjustment you need to make. If this video helped reduce your anxiety about your weight going up, let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so that is my video on why your weight increases as a result of exercise. I hope this was helpful. If this video helped you out, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. And if you wanna stay in the loop with more videos that I put out, make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the bell if you wanna be notified. Thanks a ton for watching this video today. I will see you in a future video.